Next we will construct the circumcircle for an obtuse triangle. This triangle has an obtuse angle right there, greater than 90 degrees. The procedure is the same though. We start by bisecting a side. So I'll, I'll bisect this side. So we stretch the compass out to more than halfway and we make an arc. And then keeping the same radius, we stick it at the other, other end. And we get two intersection points there and there. And those two points give me the perpendicular bisector of this side. So let's draw that in. Okay, and I'm going to extend it way down here. Okay. Now I will bisect this side. Okay, so put it at one end, stretch it out to beyond halfway, and make an arc. Okay, then go to the other end, keep the same compass radius, and make your arc. There we go. Okay, this point here and here will bisect this side. So we draw that in and extend this to where those intersect, right there. That should be the center of the circumcircle. And note that it is outside the triangle. This is one of the points that we refer to as a center of the triangle. And for an obtuse triangle, it is actually outside the triangle. But that is the center of, this, of the circumscribed circle. And if I put the center of the compass there and stretch it out to one corner, I should be able to make a circle that goes through all the corners. So let's see, there we go, very nice. And on around here, okay, good. All right, that's it. That is the circumcircle for that triangle. And again, note that for an obtuse triangle, the center of the circumcircle is outside the triangle, or the circumcenter of the triangle is outside.